we have a very good matchup to round out the end of our weekend. But we've also got a pretty important matchup here over in Group A. Aphrodite sticks wow. out the Sobek stick. It didn't look too great, but highly expected. This Hachiman did. You know what? What if I before? But I've seen Johnny play before, and it's something that they do. And now with the T down too, at these five v five fight had a good Ratatoskier mid game state. And anything that makes your Kamazots more threatening is pretty good. Well, Johnny blink forward, fearless back from Kana though stops that. That's slow interesting, turn. right? In that he is really good at level five for dive potential. Kana should be okay here. Has the ult, will be able to make it back towards that tower, but good resource burnt from Hex Mambo. Here's what you play Kamazots for. He can go into the tower. Is it going to be worthwhile? The apple needed that to hit. It got a bounce, and maybe even a good bounce with the angle. Was going Unfortunately, for it. the tower was there, and yeah, you're right. Kirmi goes in, and now you've got Johnny, who's going to look for the knockup, look for the kill, forces the bat out of hell. Johnny down at all. In fact, he's laying in wait. Kirmi maybe taking the bait. Julio moves forward. Johnny's hanging out around the corner, fearless from Kana against the wall for Julio. Johnny maybe coming in a little late himself. Walks up. But at this point, Julio can't really fight. He's taking too much damage, doesn't have a lot of Snoopy. And now they're going to loop around. You've got a good numbers advantage. About to be a three on two. Johnny goes in, stunned down onto Jengaro. They want to get a little more. Apple thrown out. He needs some damage, and they're going to have it. Kha'Zix will find first blood for his team. Now the chase onto Kirmi. Good leap avoids the knockup, and that's going to get Kirmi under the tier one. They get a stray shot from Rapio. At least roots him out, knocks him away. You still have a three-man advantage. About to be four. Spudio can get here quickly. But you don't have that they'll spend the majority of their time farming up. Playing it slow and then waiting for that that one golden opportunity to play as a squad. Snoopy, aggressive. Spudio's low, but he's got the ult. It shouldn't be in too much trouble. Has Jake, has Snoopy, and Spudio's not committing to the ult right now. Takes a little bit of damage from the lurking in the waters, trying to hide it out, but just can't do anything about it. Is locked well, I lied, down. the ultimate wasn't up there. Uh, it ah. co completely lost it, so great opportunity from Snoopy to fully commit to the aggression. Unfortunately. Gets answered by Johnny on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> But Ishtar has to play far up in the lane to actually get on to Spudio, which will open the door. They burn the beads on Snoopy, so not only safe, but maybe potentially get aggressive. Unfortunately, Whoa. oh my god, what an Aegis from Shingara. Oh, Johnny wanted it. Johnny's looking, but he's not going to be able to close that gap. Can't do much with the ult either. Good pluck, but again, this is not going to do much. I can't believe Shingara gets out of there. And now with Johnny's ult down, they have some chase potential, and they're going to go for it. You got Kha'Zix to come in and help you out, and you got Rapio joining the fray. Now Jake is the one Yikes. who's isolated and locked down. The Fury doing a little bit to help out, but it's not going to get the job done. Good dash from Jake should get some separation. That's essentially the final nail in the coffin there for the good of Gladiators. Spudio might be in danger. Well, we mentioned safety, right? Ult and beads. And it might actually end up being Jake. Good oh, wall nice. catches out the dash as well. Wow, the blocks just barely. Jake squeaks through there. Now Johnny comes in, wants to find the last bit of damage. Can't quite close it out, but the dash, the dart, it should get him close. You've got Kirmi coming up behind uh -oh. you. Might be a better target. And instead, blinks forward. He wants the kill, finds one. And now with Jake re-engaging, gets a second for Johnny. Now up against Snoopy. Might need a little help to stun. Buy some time and is holding out as best he can. No dart way. goes forward if Johnny makes it out of here with a double. Double kill. He's getting away with Essentially murder. Essentially says, I'm not, I'm not killing Jake. I whiffed my acorn. Well, I'm going to go back to base. Oh, God. Kirmi's 10% HP right next to me. Jake has to reinitiate the peel. And now Snoopy's just dead? Yeah, nothing you could do about that one. Hey, the ult Johnny was really nice. On top of his timer. His mechanics on point. And, and that's why he's been hailed as the best jungler out of the EU SEC. Well, Terra in a little bit of trouble here. Kirmi going to try to close it out. You've got a lot of people chasing for just one kill on the support, and they're going to go for the Fearless Chain. They've got the lockdown, but they just don't have the Leo damage follow-up, and now you've got Hex Mambo coming in. Johnny with a stun, and Johnny with another kill on the board up into the sky, and who's he going to look for? Is he going for Jangaru, or is he going to go back for Jake? He opts in for the kill instead. Should be looking at help and take down the support. Gladiators down now one to seven and it is not slowing down for hex mambo the chase is on kana comes in kana knocked down because of it all it takes is a little more david oh my okay. god the jukes they at least turn around johnny big bounty off the board jengar needs to get out of here if he can agus used damage still going. There. the long range shots but luckily the oh, distance gladiators at least one of them able to walk out of the arena talk about that peel from julio though just catches the golden apple snoop dash wrong direction Spudio, I mean, he's going to make it look easy. What they do you say feel about that? confident. 
In fact, a lot of Hex Mambo have kind of abandoned this fight instead looking for something else. Leap over the wall. The chase down. Fearlesses are going to be gone, and there's going to be the knock up. Johnny wants a little more, needs the damage, finds it. Kills off Kana for the 10th one on the board for Hex Mambo. They managed to get the beacon, and now they might even have Kirmi locked down in a good spot. Leap from the Kamazots gets the distance. So it's just going to be a blue buff invade, but Kirmi, rightly so, walks in, secures He's nearby. That. He's not hitting it. Looks more to be baiting Jang out. Trying to find something. Might have just found something massive in the beads, and then, then the kill Yikes. Rapio with the shot is going to be able to sneak that one onto his belt. Also, sneaky. Three and zero now for the Thoth. And you had said it, as long as Johnny gets to live through it on right, if Spuddy is not there, you'll have the damage, and they're going to have the damage. Now, it's about defending this Fury. Spuddy sees it, has some damage that he can throw out. Kana's going to come around and look for pressure. Julio around the back. They're looking for it. Gladiators secure the Fury, but they have to get out with their lives to make it worthwhile. Seems like some of the distance is going to be good, but no Julio with the leap. Chases down Snoopy. He's diving the tower. Misses the sickle. Going for the auto. Snoopy's dealing a little back, but you've got to have something. Oh. No, the tether doesn't connect. Julio gets it, but it takes a little longer than necessary. Maybe something different that could happen in mid, at least for the two levels. Like you said, it's not going to last super long. Bat out of hell, used by Kirmi. That's a resource and a half if you're able to burn it, and he's backing right here. He's going to get caught out, right. stunned by Johnny. I don't know what Kirmi was going to accomplish, where he thought he was going, but now the leap over the wall, Johnny waits it out, they get the kill. And Mifflin almost served up to him on a silver platter, almost more than Snoopy. Right here, body blocked, locked away, and nothing you can say about it. Spudio puts his third up. They're going to have the damage. They're going to have all five, and more importantly, they're going to have the secure. Kana will sniff this out super quickly. He is in the neighborhood and sees it. Spot him. But, but who's going to deal with it outside of him? He okay. uses his blink defensively to get out of there. Rapio even going for the chase down, not paying attention to the FG because there's no threat. Mifflin back there, they're winning 15 to 2 in terms of kill. They got 4,000 gold, and they're going to continue pushing the But originally it was just the front lines and still not enough to quell Hex Mambo Johnny. Is in, I don't even know if I'm going to call it the 1v1 because he doesn't care about Kirmi right now. He's going for the tower. Now he cares about Kirmi, but the rest of the team is getting aggressive. In fact, he solos him out of the hell. That doesn't up, happen. And it just does. I mean, he does exactly what he needs to. He gets a massive opening kill now. He's up in the sky. He's looking for the back line. He finds Snoopy, no problem. And the right. chase is going to be on the Gladiators. Falling apart at the seams as Hex Mambo just go through surgically, eliminating anyone that stands in their way. They can't get the right Phoenix because the tower is still up. They can go for mid, knock that one down. They just need a little bit of tankiness. Julio plucked back. But it's just Jake and just Kana to try and defend. Julio finally taking up the bird for his team. Should be able to absorb all that damage. I'm surprised they're even going for the bird. I thought it was walking to the Titan's eye. Well, it might still be. You've got 18 seconds, 10 before Kirmi's back, and you might find another kill. Jake's low, and he passed towards the right. They're going to give that one up. Hex Mambo fall back, recognizing that the numbers... Shocks. The Gilded Gladiators just have not shown me anything in the team fight. Gold Fury we we'll just go to further line the coffers of Mambo, but we're looking at a Hail Mary from the SPL. Well, they're trying to make something happen here, and Mifflin, unfortunately, something is happening, but it's happening at them. The Gladiators just right. cannot stand together. Separated fights, separated kills, and now three already gone. Hex Mambo dismantling the rest of them. Kirmi pulls back one, but it's a deicide on the other side, and now with fire minions and four still strong with the fire giant. To maintain two of their birds, but because they Hail Mary, there's the GG we were calling for. Hex Mambo game one, Mifflin. They start out strong. 20 more kills than what the Gladiators were able to put up. And one on the board in this best of five, trying to get a repeat of their shutout earlier this week. One on the board for Rat as well. I told yes, you he did he's it. not a 0% win rate god. Until Johnny just makes one.